Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Win a Minute production so I'm going to cook something and something is curry I got my rice there already, clay pot Today is the 6th of October 2000 6th October 2013 and it's a Sunday So curry it is today and curry is not from scratch unfortunately because I do not have the skills to make something from scratch yet So we have a yellow onion here which I'm going to peel and whatnot because I want to why put onions in curry I do not know because he was laying around waiting for somebody to eat it so I happily obliged to give it some purpose so let's get on cracking so I'm gonna use only a bit okay there's only one there's only one person eating that's me and no I think that's big enough this is huge very huge. I'm going to put this somewhere. So, what about the garlic? You might say, well, nah. No thanks. No garlic today. So, uh, heat up the wok. Yep, wok is heat up. This one, I'm not going to use the fryer. Got my choice some here, and for sauce, it's gonna be these babies. I found them in the freezer. This garlic and chilies, okay? Garlic and chilies. So, uh, so are you recording? Yep, you're recording. So, what do you do now? Some oil. Uh, why oil? Not sure, but everything begins with oil. Same as life. Life begins with oil, and uh, so of course I need the instrument of of life, which is oh uh, what you call this? Uh, fuck those! I don't know what it's called. Uh, pan? Nah, no idea. Okay, so let's cut this baby open and s expose the lovely delicious. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna eat plastic, am I? No, no, no. Uh, so. Oh, fuck. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, fuck, fuck, fuck. Flash damage. Ah. I'm gonna do two. So, the look, you look at the chilies, it's not that fresh anymore. It's uh, kinda like not green. It's supposed to be green, but it's not. So, I don't know what. What leftover was this from? I think it was the, from Asang Bakut there, maybe from many many months back. Because uh, only Bakut there that you get chilies and what you call it, garlic together, and also soy sauce, the salty one. So let's get on cracking here. So today is a traumatic day indeed. Oh my god. I was escorted out of March Raid, which is that Jalan Usawan. one. Oh, that's quite a lot of garlic. Oh my god. I not eat that. Thank you know. God, I'm not going out to meet people. So let's see here. We got chicken here. Oh my god. Drain the water from the frozen chicken. So fry, 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 and put in some uh, choy sum or sawi. And mix it around, stir it around. A little bit easier. Oh, wow, the smell of the garlic is very pungent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, unless you do utilizing the condiments gain from all these shops, 
all these things you don't need to throw. You can free freeze them and use them for later, which I'm doing now. So it's uh, quite useful, and you're not wasting precious commodity that is food. I think that's dry enough. That's it. Turn off the fire. for the clay pot for the heat to come out okay let's go on cracking on the curry so I'm gonna simply chop the onions oil as I said the precursor of life or is it protein or acid I mean turn on the fire So put in, crush it while you put it in and fry until it's a bit uh, caramelized. It's more oil. I don't need a lot of chicken, I don't, it's only for one person, so just a bit of chicken would do. So, one, and half of this will do. Okay, it's not half, but never mind, I still have one portion left for me, that's okay. the chicken into small pieces so you can enjoy chicken without gorging yourself with too much of it just dump it in stir it around put some salt some salt on the chicken to give it a flavor hopefully the salt gets into the chicken cook yet and this is some coconuts okay coconuts from uh, grated freshly from the 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 coconut itself old coconut that is so just dump a bit into it oh my it's going to be a lot the more no the normal SOP or standard operating procedure is to get the coconut oil inside all this uh, whatever you call it squeeze it until the water comes out but I am too lazy so I'm going to like just dump it in and eat the whatever coconut uh, fiber there is because the fiber is actually good for you for your, for your constipated needs so 
Next. Next is a bit of water. I think he needs a bit of water. Filtered water, that is. Okay, just a bit. Just to get it rolling and rolling and rolling. And finally, the curry. Because of the onions, uh, it has become a lot. It has, it has bulked up the, the, the meal. If it has no onions, uh, they it won't be bulk like so. So this is the curry that I gotten from. It's a mixed curry of everything: chicken, mutton, whatever. From uh, what, what do you call it? Uncle K in Paradigm. The curry is very nice. I like it. So turn up the heat and let it boil. Put in more water just to get away, get the goodness of all the oils. I know oil is fattening. And I don't need them. Let's uh, put some chilies into it. I want to. Uh, I mean, I don't want it to be fresh. I want it to. I want the chili, the spiciness, to seep into the curry. That's why I'm putting it now, even though it's boiling. Normally, if you want it to be very spicy, you have to eat the chilies raw, and and that's where it retains most of its uh, very, very, very spicy properties, like the alkalis. So wash your chopping board with soap, especially after you cut uh, chicken on it, so you won't get salmonella. Uh, poisoning or something like that. Speaking of salmonella, it just it reminded me of the time when I ate that Tong Garden uh, uh, peanuts and I got really sick from eating it. Oh my god, that was terrible. Tong Garden is, you know, I don't know what the fuck they were doing. I was Stick to my stomach and lit that's literally, I mean it literally, very sick to the stomach after eating Tung Garden nuts. And Tung Garden is not a man, okay? So a lot of water here for it to like reduce to nothingness. So if you have a bit of curry to bulk it up, Put onions, that's the best. Onion is also very nice, uh, it has nice properties. Uh, I think, maybe, I'm not sure. May antibiotic type of properties, maybe? I can't remember actually. I don't do food science. And while it's boiling away nicely, I would like to uh, thank the people that I've met today. Uh, like, uh, let's see here. So, this person, uh, Pang Ying, uh, quite a pretty girl. Uh, at SS3 uh, restaurant in SS3, uh, he, her uncle makes a hell of mean uh, roast pork rice, really delicious. So I want to thank her. She had a mini interview with her. She, yeah, she is uh, very cute. So, and uh, today at the Marshall, I I think I interview about one, two, three, four. I mean, I met a lot of girls there, very pretty girls, but uh, I only really extensively interviewed three of them. Is it raining? Uh, it's quite a lot of uh, wind for this Sunday here, so I think it might be raining. I can hear the the rain, but you can't hear shit at all, fuck all, because of this the fan, extractor fan. So I would like to uh, thank you, Lydia, as well. Lydia is very sporting, uh, and that's very important. And I'd like to thank you, Weena. Weena has a very strange, no, not very strange, very, very different, uh, what you might call it, uh, family name. So that I was quite surprised. I was wondering who this this person is in my notebook here. And I'd like to thank you, Sonia, as well. And also, uh, Sonia, I think maybe she is the maybe the prettiest of the bunch. I mean, there's a. Uh, they are all pretty, but uh, it depends on the eye of the beholder. 
turn down the fire because it's been I don't want it to burn too much I can smell the burn and already at the side here you can see here it's getting dark so mix it around and reduce it further until you have the desired uh, consistency which you deem as curry and uh, I would like to thank the fourth person that I interviewed uh, quite extensively uh, Rachel as well uh, yeah they, I mean they were they are all very pretty and uh, they were very sporting and I, I, yeah. It's very nice actually for, to talk to them. Very, very, very nice. I love to talk to them. I mean, it's not just uh, they are pretty face. They have a personality behind that as well. And they are. They seem to be very intelligent. Very, very, very. I mean, their personality is very good. I like to like get to know them more. That's what. That's the impression that I get from them. They are interesting people. Very interesting. Unfortunately, the dragon lady of the Martre kicked me out of the place because I unknowingly got into the place without paying, okay? Uh, I didn't know, I just walked in. I, I subconsciously did not know at all. Please trust me, I did not know. So they escorted me, my ass out, so uh, fuck it. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna pay that very cheap 3 ringgit 60 cents to get back in. Fuck it, I got... I mean, uh, I don't want to see the dragon lady again. Sometimes uh, some people, they need to just pop somebody's balloon. So, uh, I had a good day, a very tiring day indeed. Uh, and a very shocking day at the end. Uh, at that time, I was already almost running out of saliva to talk to people already. I couldn't give a damn anymore. My interviewing cap capacity has been reached. So let's do a taste test. So it's uh, nice of Dragon Lady to know that I'm at my limit already. So she just kicked me out. Asked the security, kicked me out. Mm. Mm. No, nice fucking hell. Nice. So do go to Uncle K to get some curry. Hey, the curry is quite nice. Oh, nice. Fucking hell, it's nice. So let's put the curry, curry into this here. I'm gonna eat it with my fingers, of course. Normal, normal SOP. So if you ever watch my food things and you'll be wondering what what Jericho went to a Marshray motor show, I didn't see that. Well it's because I'm not gonna post it right, right away. I'm gonna post it later. And uh, tomorrow I'll be going or maybe I'm not going uh, to like say Ikan or to film them. Tomorrow is not the opening of the Bandai or Gundam Expo. So uh, I'm scared that uh, Lita or whatever Bandai might throw me out for filming in advance. So I don't know whether I should go or not. I don't think I will go on the day zero where they're going to like put in all the preparations and stuff like that. I will just be a border to them and hope and maybe they will ban my ass for, for disturbing them. So it's quite nice. I mean I just found out that uh, it's good. I mean it's nice to to eat eat the curry or make curry not only with the coconut milk but also with the the cha the 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 sarabot the the I'm trying to squeeze every brain juice out of my mind uh, the 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 rough fish okay the rough fish that holds the coconut milk in the coconut itself so it's a good day very good day. Just doing the job, so I mean, if dragon, if ever dragon lady were to see this, I forgive you, I forgive her, I forgive her for being such an asshole. So, same measure. Hopefully, you like it. I mean, this is just put the the cur the serrated or crunched up coconut, okay, coconut in the freezer and just take it out and just put it inside and eat it with it. Cause uh, rough fish is good for you, good for your stomach, good for your asshole as well. So. 
see you in Malaysia and bye bye and if you like this video do subscribe and if you like it like it if you don't like it don't like it and if you enjoy what I actually do do subscribe I mean I hope that you leave a comment as well and thank you for watching because comments likes and dislikes they encourage me further to do uh, fucking stupid things like getting kicked out of uh, Ma Trade Motor Show by angry women who need more sex so see you in Malaysia and, and I wonder who the hell is the dragon lady eh? so it would be interesting to know who it, it, she is eh? because she is like the queen mother queen very very strict uh, strict looking after her little chicks very weird very weird so thank you Malaysia and uh, see you at the next exhibition um, most likely I won't be going to that Sepang exhibition in whatever but recommended by one of the ladies there or one of the nice uh, looking ladies uh, because the dragon lady might be there so I try to avoid seeing that fella before my my blood boils see ya bye bye oh saw my very very toned up abs six pack Bye-bye.